Yeah, so we have just popped to the post office and we have got this soap thing which we are going to be trying on Inca today and you see it does work. So, yeah. So when you turn the wall, wall Okay, let's, let's give it a go. Right. This, we got this the other day which is really good. Hot water tap. Um, okay, let's go. Let's not squirt. Yeah, I'll just get it going for you. There we go, Johnny. Wait till it gets to about... Wait till it's about 20. 20. 25. This is really cute, Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice in here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, the mother food. I think he's enjoying it. Look at his face. He's very happy with the I warm water. Really warm oh, I think we need to refill the soap. It's come out now. That's okay. I only put a little bit in to test. Okay. Oh. He says, Mummy, you made me jump. So I'm going to be Oh, this. I don't think he needs the purple one, darling. That's for a grey. Oh, okay. Yeah, the orange. I think it's more orange, that one. Right, how do I add it? Do I take this off? Unscrew it. Okay, I think he's looking clean, my darling. Put it on the rinse. Okay. So stop for a second of the soap. And then, let's see. If you want to look this way, because I'm still recording you, people won't see what you're doing. So this top bit, you just turn it, swivel it round, and put it on the water. So just rinse it off. You don't have to go too high, just where the soap was. I think that's it now, Lucy. Well done. And I'm going to get the Okay, okay. 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 So now um, I'm going to tie him up in his hair so he can eat his hair and hey no. And I'm going to do his hues. So. and this is how I do it. So I run my hand down his leg but he's really easy for me to pick his hoof up. So then you just put that. You never want to um, pick in the middle. You always want to go around the frog and then after you've picked all the stones and everything out you want to just brush it down with the brush that comes on the hoof pick. Okay, start around the side. Try and get all the stones up because when you're riding it will hurt their hooves if you don't. Give it a little brush down. And there you go. And that's how you do the hooves. Good boy. So we have just popped into this shop a couple of days ago. My mum picked up this Kevin Baker's liquid hoof dressing, which is a good maintenance for their hoof. So let's put this on you. I only put a bit on him because I don't want to waste it because it's so good. It makes his hoof really shiny too. I don't like putting too much on because then it goes overboard and it drips all down off of him. Now this one. I'm thinking you put some shaving. And one to the last. It smells like um pasta in a weird way. Okay, good boy. 
So now these tubes look real nice and it's going to be nice for them. So I have just thought of the smell and this actually smells like pesto in, from the pasta because I got it all over my hand and I'm like, what's that smell? We don't have any pesto up here and I smell my hand, it's like, it's pesto. Yesterday we popped to the shop and got this lovely little Muir grooming bag. I'm going to show the different compartments. So here I put my um, silky serene. Um, then all in the back here I've got my main and tail shine. I've got my um, my shampoo which you could just squirt on. Some main and tail, um, body and some naff shampoo and in here it's got a lot of different compartments and loads of space where you could put everything and on the bottom it is actually hard so it won't go all over the place so in here i've got my mane and tail brush i've got this really fluffy equestrian brush i have also got my magic brush which is good for everything i've got this other soft brush which is a bit harder and last of all, I've got this brush, which is so, so soft, and I only use it on his face. So now I'm going to be using my main and tail spray and my main and tail brush, so let's put this on you. He's not a big fan of this. So this is nice to make it soft and more straight, because up here we've just um, grown his mane out, because here you can see it's a bit shorter than the rest. Sometimes it might spook out like that, so... Now let's do your tattoo. If it's too naughty, I'm not going to bother to brush it because it will snap it and hurt him. Okay. Right. Here we go, that's fine. So now let's use your body brush just to get some of this up here. And boy, this is not too dirty. Do your face now. You like this, don't you? Yeah. Right, so you're going down looking a bit more presentable. So now we should take your rug off and get you tapped up. I'm just going to undo the buckles so you can keep him a bit warm uh, whilst I'm going to do the bridle first because good boy. So this isn't a GP saddle, this is a jumping saddle. So let's go pop this on him. Oh, wrong way. This way. Yeah. Is that straight? Yeah. Okay. I'm not the best at putting this head on because. Okay, is that good? Forward. Okay, that's good. Okay. And now let's just give it a go. I always do it on this side first, so on the other side it can stretch a lot more. On this side, I put it on a two, just because it's not too tight, and I'd, I would do it up when I'm riding, just so whilst he's waiting, whilst I get all my hat, hats and things on. So, two here, and I always have it right here, next to his leg. So let's get up there. Oh, oh boy. And on this side, I do it on a one, and then a two, and then a three, and then I'll get my hat and everything on, get my whip, and get off riding. Walk you to the side school then. Come on. Good boy. Oh, it's going to be nice and big for you. It's very hot in the side school. It's not cold. So we're going to be doing some flat work just to get the ponies listening whilst we're going to be doing jumping and everything. Um, you might hear my mum in the background doing some little tips on it too, so listen along if you want.
Remember, keep your hands up and together. Can you go into a little canter? You need a little bit more contact and your hands back towards you a little bit more. Squeeze. Then change the rain. I think you need your reins a little bit shorter. That's better. You just have a little bit more of a contact and then here, lower his head for you. And then change the rein. Hands together, don't forget. Then go into another canter. Oh, I think he's spooking at something. <laughs> he's oh, there's someone coming round. He's a very good boy because he didn't do so. He didn't do it too naughty. Have a little bit more of a contact. You can see your reins are a little bit loose. So slow it all down a bit and try and get his attention again. Hands together. And then toes in. You need to talk to him a little bit more. That's it. And in the next corner, ask for canter. That's lovely. He's lowered his head now. Beautiful. Talk to him. You can talk to him and say, go on. He prefers his jumping, but they have to do this. So I'm back into trot. So that's all for today. He is a bit lazy as he does stay out in the field now because it's really nice weather, isn't it? Yes, and he don't, we don't want to keep him in his stable as, as it's nice weather. We only keep him on special occasions when it's dry. So yeah, you were a good boy, weren't you? Should we get off? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a good boy. So now I'm going to roll the stirrups up and if you're wondering, I did just walk him off before I walk off right now. Okay. Good boy. Should we undo your girth a bit before we take you off if I can? Wait. Mm. Should we go on the other side because it's more stretchy? Pinky! Let's put your big on. Come on! Come on! Wait for the big day! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my brother and I. Right, so we need to put his bib on just so it won't rub him because he's getting a bit rubbed at the front here. So, right, let's do the unstray up and put that on. Ah, you're good. Here you go, boy. Right, where's that rubber gum? There it is. Me. And it on you. Good boy. See the front buckles up. And then we could do the under buckle up, and then we do the little three rugs. <laughs> yeah. So right now it's just our lunch time, and we have got some sandwiches. And I wonder what this is. It looks like a parcel container. We've got some sour kids sour patch, which we're going to be trying. We've got some fruit, of course, some grapes, lemon grapes, and we've got some orange fruit shoots. And some purple fruit shoots. I like the purple one because 
here. And we've also got some dairy milk buttons, which are nice. And we've got one drumstick chocolate, which I think is new because I've never seen this, but yeah. odd years and she got him since he was four months and he was our first pony and he's so cute he's got laminitis which is really bad and let's go say hi to him he's got he's eating a lot of grass hello Tyson is very goofy and yeah but he's still going aren't you yeah he goes crazy about his dinner and his lunch and everything don't you his hairs my mum does quite oftenly and they, they aren't really too long anymore let's check on them his frog you can't really see you can't really see a frog but it's fine because it's really muddy and everything so he has a fill shelter up there, and you can see both both of their ponies. And you can see Inca and Dash in that field, but Inca's in right now. But Dash is out, and let's go show you his fill shelter. It is quite a big fill shelter when you're in there, but it looks quite small on the outside. And he stays, he goes in there whenever he wants. You don't shut him in, because that's just cruel. And it looks like he's loving this weather greatly. So normally my mum's mum comes up here um, with with someone called Bob, my uncle, and they normally poop at his paddock and everything and give him some hay. He has this hay so he can't eat too fast and I normally sometimes might use this with um, travelling with Inca and this big hay in it for whenever. And this is the stable. He's got whatever this is. Just to make it nice for him. And yeah, I think this is oak. And it's got some nice roofing, which is waterproof. So, yeah, I think that's done. So, a couple of, maybe like a half a year ago, or a year ago, we planted these lovely red robin. And they're starting to get their colour back now. So he kind of faded away as it was winter. And we've had to plant all along here. It took a long, long time. But it looks really nice now because it's right by the science school. So have a look at down, see how they're doing. Some of them have grown big. They used to be down to there in plant pots, but the ground was rock solid, so it was hard to dig from. So. Whoa, that one's massive. Gosh, that's great. These are all doing so well. It's going to be dry weather, so it's going to start to get a bit dry. The green crop. Yay! You're right. Oh my gosh, you're right. And over here. 